Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? I'm your boy Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and today I want to introduce you to my new girlfriend. I mean, computer. Computer. I'd like you to be very supportive. And uh, she's a Think Center M70E Type uh, 0830, but we don't like to put labels on our babies, do we? Anyways, this old school girl has an Intel Core 2 dual processor. Very nice. Very nice. Ain't she sleek? Sexy. Lenovo Think Center. Interesting, they don't even put the Lenovo brand on it yet. They they still say Think Center, but they won't put IBM and they won't put Lenovo on it. Check that out. Made for Windows 7. That's always good stuff. Taking a look at the back here, you got a standard VGA, no video card, so you get what you get. I got this sucker for geez, how much did I pay for it? That's right, $14.99. Also got these totally sexy sheets that I'm going to lay my wife out over. As soon as she sees it, she's going to be like, sploosh. And then she's also going to be like, oh my god, is that a new computer? Sploosh. And it's so nice in my fantasy land, what can I say? Anyways, speaking of my fantasy land, let's open this lady up and see what's on the inside. Drrr. Lucky for me, the screws in here were really tight, so there's no RAM or anything missing. I swear, every time I go and I look at a computer at Goodwill, the hard drive or the RAM is missing. And yeah, you know what, some of them might have dropped it off that way, but I got more of a, a feeling that uh, it gets lifted. So let's have a closer look at what we got in here. I didn't realize that the standard uh, uh, front cargo section of these, geez, what do you call them, low profile systems were so regular, so standard, so nice. Just like that, you get the hard drives, spin goes the fan, yippee, all that fun stuff. I'm used to these things coming out real easy, but uh, having a bit more problems than I thought I would. But still, everything looks really standard, and since this thing's 10 years old, I've only been working with Lenovo primarily for 6, so the fact that everything is pretty standard is pretty good. I don't like the fact that there's only two spots for RAM here, but uh, we'll do what we can. Let's take a look, see what we got. Alright, so I guess someone was running Windows 7 on only 2 gigs of RAM. That must have been painful. But it looks like this was somebody's work system, you get what you get. Anyways, time to get her going. After figuring out that the system wasn't powering on because I hadn't plugged it in yet, genius me, we get her going without too much incidents. Yippee skippy. Will it turn on? There she goes. No problem. I love the delayed Lenovo startup. I'm quite used to it. Of course, it complains about not having a keyboard. And away we go into Windows. Anyways, long story short, it turns on. It works. Takes me a little bit, but I actually find a login that actually works. There is a way to break uh, the lock off the admin account, but why do it if I don't have to? Anywho, we get in. Lots of interesting stuff. I'm just letting it sit, sit here and uh, see how well it takes Windows 7 on 2 gigs of RAM. And it doesn't seem to actually have too much problems. I could still use this. I could still throw 2016 uh, Office on here and not have too much problem. But still, let's throw a benchmark at this and see what we can do with it. My personal preferred pronoun, I mean benchmark, is uh, passmark benchmark. Very good stuff. Actually gives me a physical number. And that's all the rage with the ladies. The ladies love the physical number at the end of the day. Ladies just can't handle them soft numbers anyways. Off to the races we go. Yippee skippy. I got this at 16 times video and uh, It's interesting. I never had the light right here. I've never had it hang up like this This is at 16 times speed and I've never had it hang up like that before So it seems to go through and honestly it doesn't actually affect that benchmark man. I'd be dizzy if I was that check anyways Here we go. This is uh, this is the part where we see the video of how quickly these planes go around in circles. They'll go around in circles as fast as uh, your CPU, GPU will take it. I think this is actually a 2D benchmark. Anyways. Now this system is inheriting a lot of issues, of course, because of its age. And it's nerfed because of the Spectrum Meltdown virus. Because of that, every system is only worth about, I think it's about three-fourths of their original potential or power has to be nerfed because of the specter 
and meltdown virus, which is, uh, I, I guess I should say vulnerability, a zero day vulnerability, not a virus. So it's unfortunate. This thing's about 10 year old, 10 years old, not 10, sorry. She was cast out in 2011. It's 2019 now. In fact, you can do anything. Oh, look at that spiky tree. I've never seen a tree look so spiky in this, uh, in this simulator thing before. That's too bad. That's too bad. But still, with how old she is, what, eight years old? That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. She's doing pretty good. Anyways, it's time to upgrade her. See what we can do with her. Make her faster, stronger, more alive. And it's what I'm talking about. So, anyways, let's take a look at that score. 449. 449. 49. Let's see if we can bring those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers. We can improve those numbers. So what are we going to do to improve it? Install Windows 10. But seriously, I'm surprised with how horrible this these numbers are. I mean, five years ago, we got these Asus Vivo systems that had two, not even Celeron chips in them, and they get higher scores than this, which is uh, which is pretty scary. But first, I wanted to get to know this lady intimately. I wanted to know what made her tick. I wanted to know how they used her. I want to know exactly what she had on her insides. And after that, I want to know exactly what secrets are you hiding? What do you have hidden in that hard drive of yours? Now, if I was working on somebody else's system, I would never go through their personal stuff. If I picked something up that was to be destroyed, I would never go through their stuff. But since I went out and I purchased this, and uh, I brought her home, I'm going to go through your stuff. And check this out. Somebody has an open public uh, Google Sheets doc. I leave them a little note just to, be, just to let them know that this is public. And uh, I sent the link to some of my friends, and they said it looks like somebody is still working on that, so they probably shouldn't make that public. Of course, they wouldn't. Because, I mean, like, what are the odds some YouTube creep will find it and send it out online? Anyways, this thing had a very, very old version of Lenovo update. I've never seen it that old before, so it's been a while since this thing's been updated. The automatic updates weren't even on. It seemed to have a somewhat older version of Windows 7 on it. So, time to upgrade it. Although I must say I was very disappointed to find there was no pornography or uh, My Little Pony episodes on here. Oh man, ADP terminal. I'm sure that's supposed to tell me something. Terminator emulator? Yeah, that was used to connect to a database of some sort. I guarantee you. Uh, someone loaded this lady up pretty heavy. Oh yeah, ladies. Pull the aluminum back, give her a wash, and there you go. There's the CPU, old school. Jeez, why don't you autofocus? Microsoft, only the good stuff. Only the best for my ladies, what can I say? Anyways, we got a slapper in there. Gonna put some new lube on her. Ladies love the lube. Aw, oh, yeah, ladies love the lube. Yes, please, more lube, Mr. Lube Man. Mm -hmm. Think that's enough lube brick? Oh yeah, I know what the ladies like. You just drown them in lube, jump on them with everything you got, and screw them into place, right? I know what the ladies like. Brrr. Thank God that stuff is non-conductive. I'll make sure it's good and screwed in, like your life. 
Now to top the sucker up, let's throw a Kingston SSD at a whole 120 gigabytes. Remember 10 years ago when that was an acceptable hard drive to get with a new system? Well, it's acceptable now too. Anyways. Yay, good time in the BIOS. Remember back in the day when computers wouldn't automatically load off USB? Yeah, no problem. Whatevs, Windows 10, etc. Yippee, updates, installation, all that fun stuff. Party time. Yeah. Booyah. Alright, so this is the boring part of setting any computer up. The updates, the initial installation, all that fun stuff. Man, you know what? The only thing I hate more than this, or the thing it reminds me of the most, is in a good zombie movie when everyone, the outbreak has happened, and everyone is safe within their XYZ place. And it gets boring because they're just holding out, waiting on something to happen. And they either get saved or a bunch of motorcycle people come along and break everyone's day. But let's get on to the fun stuff. Windows 10 installed. There's pretty much no difference, honestly, to the benchmark. Which blows. Life is hard. So yeah, check this out. I doubled the RAM and gave it an SSD. And it's still giving me problems. I'm getting like no extra power here. What can I say? I can only do so much for this thing. But I would have thought that 2 gigs extra RAM at an SSD would have made a bigger uh, mark than that. Also the lube. Maybe I didn't use enough lube. Speaking of too much lube, you ever hear that there are people that used to use toothpaste as uh, thermal paste? Man, could you imagine if you used uh, toothpaste as lube for other things? Alright, so let's throw a video card at this thing. This is literally just something that I found on the floor of my room. But uh, it has an HDMI port on it, so it must be super powerful, right? Let's get her in. Let's get her figured out. Let's get her done. Alright, anyways, this morning I slap in a Radeon 6450, 1GB giga, gigabyte DDR3, all that fun stuff. Look at those planes, they're actually traveling around at a reasonable pace somewhat. Things actually look not half bad, so a little f carpet card goes a long way. The, the tree actually looks like a tree. It's not circling as well as I'd like it to, but it actually looks like a tree. So uh, let's check out the final score in the 